Oh, yeah. Welcome in. Happy Saturday. Don't do a lot of Saturday live streams, little watch along, little best ball draft action. We're going to have some fun. Uh, I'll explain everything as we get going, but let's just let's just fire up the first the first draft here because I don't know how long these are going to take to fill. And of course, this one is uh, filled right away. I am the sixth golfer. So boom, just like that, we are in two drafts. I was hoping to have a little bit of time to explain what's going on here, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm settled in. I had breakfast. I've, uh, I've been caffeinated. I've got a comfy seat and I'm ready to rock and roll through as many drafts until I get tired. I suppose I think minimum I'd like to do at least 10. The stretch goal would be like 40, 20 might be good, but a lot of it depends on how long they take to fill. If you want to join me and help fill these, uh, that'd be very much appreciated. If you have not signed up for underdog and you want to do that link is in the description, use the code Rick, get your deposit match, but we're going to talk through basically everything, a little bit of strategy. A uh, little bit of uh, exposures. I'll answer any of the questions, concerns, or comments that are coming up in the chat. And then I've got uh, some tools that I can show you. And I've also got some fun and games that we'll do with the randomizer here in just a little bit. We'll 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 spin the wheel every couple of drafts. But for now, let's just uh, let's start getting some exposure. You know, these are golf best ball drafts, and the way that this works, it's for major championships only. So we're talking about the Masters, the PGA Championship, the U.S. Open, and the Open. That's it. Four separate events. Uh, if you finish inside the top X of each one, you advance to the next round. So you have to advance out of round number one, the Masters, to get to round number two. And if you get to uh, round number four, that's the Open Championship. That's where you can win the big prizes. Here we are in uh, spot number five out of the gate. The first four are pretty chalky. Um, we could go for Victor. We could go for Wyndham Clark. I think that we are just going to play it safe and go with, with Xander here. I, I would have been happy to kind of reach on a couple of guys, but in this spot, first draft of the day, we'll probably play it pretty chalky. Um, this does get back to us with, with Wyndham Clark, who I think is, um, or we could go, let's actually go Cantlay. Let's just pair the, the Bash Bros together. Um, I've got, my rankings here, not only do I have rankings, but I have projections on which events these guys are qualified for or might end up playing. Um, I've got their records at each individual major. You can download this. You can mess around with this. This is on rickrungood.com right now. It's free. You can go, you can go check it out. I'll show you the full rules here in a second, but the goal being uh, just getting a bunch of guys who can get us through the masters and then who can take us on a deep run. Now, the thing is, this is all right. It's just a draft. It's best ball. There is no, uh, lineups that you have to set. There are no trades. There are no pickups. There is nothing like that. I would not mind getting Justin Thomas in this 17 spot. If it's not Thomas, we will we'll probably take a live. Okay, so we're going to have to probably take a live golfer here. Um, Fitzpatrick, interesting, but I think we will go with uh, Joaquin Neiman, who's been the best player on live and um, should set up very well for the Masters. He's actually improved his result at the Masters each and every time that he's played it. Fitzpatrick and DeChambeau go off the board, and now we are left with another decision here. Sahith so played well in his only one time, but I think we're going to go DJ. So we're going to go the Bash Bros and we're going to go two live guys uh, there. So once you draft your team, that's it. Now, this is kind of unique because it's only for the four major championships, but they, they did run these for season long and they're actually running them for the rest of the season in, uh, I believe, starting at RBC Heritage, which is the event after the Masters. Okay. And just to show you how the advancement works, and then I'll start going through some of the chat here. So for round one, you are in uh, a group of six. So for the Masters, you're in a group of six. To advance out of group six, where is it? Okay, you need to be in the top two. So top two out of six are advanced out of the Masters. 
Jeez, we're coming up again quick. I would love it if Sahith dropped to me. I was thinking about taking him a round ago. He's off the board. Now we're in a pickle. I like Burns, but I don't know if I like him that much. I like Nick Taylor. I don't know if I like him that much. Irish English is a little bit risky. Our rankings probably say it's Sam Burns. He's 19th. And we're getting him at 29. So we probably have to go with Sam Burns. I will I will take Sung Jay if he's still there when it gets back to us. I would like to get Adam Scott, but that feels like a pretty significant reach for me. This is this four, five, six, these rounds are to me the most important. I would take Corey Connors as well. So I, so we're gonna get either Sung Jam or Corey Connors. Corey Connors has putted uh beautifully at uh, Augusta National. We're gonna take Sung Jay or Corey. We'll probably take Corey. What do what do we have? We have Corey at oh boy, uh 40th. We have Sung Jay at uh oh god 20 something. Um Connors is off the board though, so it's not it's not much of a decision. So you've got to be in the top two out of six to move out of round one. Then you go to a 10-person group, and this is this is kind of the hardest. You have to win your 10-person group. Then you've got to win your six-person group, and then that gets you into the final 310. Um, and then the final 310 play for the big prizes, right? So as long as you advance out of round one, you are getting paid. But if you can get all the way through and get to the sixth round, or excuse me, the fourth round, that first place pays out 50K. It's pretty fun. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Anyone know where we can get some long-term golf fantasy in the UK? Can't get on underdog, et cetera, 79 and under. Yeah, that's kind of the, the tricky pickle, right? You've got situations where there's a ton of legalities in this. Um, then if there's a site that is really, really good, but they're not uh, regulated, but you, you can't play it for money. So you could probably play it for fun, but you know, I, I think, I think you guys probably want to do a little bit more than that here. We're going to take a flyer on, um, we're going to take Jaeger here at, at 41, uh, has been playing great golf, continues to get better peaking at the right time. We're going to take Jaeger in, in the 40, in the 41 spot, just got himself into the masters. And now with the win, we'll likely be in um, a lot more. I'm, I'm okay. If Adam Scott falls to us here, you'll see me take a little bit and he does. You'll see me take a little bit of, um, uh, an, an overweight position on masters guys, which I think makes sense because of you got to advance. You have to advance out in a little bit here. We'll start going through the, the wheel, the randomizer will, uh, We'll, we'll have some fun, but we'll give it a little bit. Sean says, get some Spieth in there. Yeah. So Spieth is, is probably somebody that I'm, that I'm higher on than most, you know, I'm just going to move my rankings over here so I can see them on a, on a different screen. Um, guys that I'm probably higher on than what their ADP is. Jordan Spieth, Will Zalatoris, Russell Henley. Um, I have Henley 16th. I can't imagine <clears throat> his ADP is, is anywhere close to that. Um, Sahith, especially the er like earlier in the uh, earlier in this this tournament run here, right? I think Sahith could be good at the Masters. I'm not sure if he's going to be great at the Open Championship, but I don't have to worry about that uh, too much until until later. We're back on the clock here. Um, I'm going to take a sneaky Gary Woodland, and then we're probably going to have to stop taking Gary Woodland at some point because I've got a lot of Gary Woodland. Uh, so far in these drafts, uh, Gary Woodland's in every major, right? His, his 2019, um, what was it? U S open win is, this is the last year of it. So he's basically still in everything. We're starting to see signs of that really strong ball striking again. We need him to putt a little bit better gain 10 strokes, ball striking in Houston. Um, so I'm, I'm very much overweight on Gary Woodland at this point. And I'm hoping uh, to try kind of catch him on the on the come up here. So this is the last round. So we're we're about to have one draft in the books. This is awesome. So 
We could go Lucas Glover, who's in a lot of stuff. We could go Adam Hadwin. I have a lot of those guys. Akshay is not technically in the Masters yet. So we are going to run. Gooch is not in. We're going to run um, Ekro. <clears throat> so there's our first team. Just like that, we're in the books. Xander Cantlay, Neiman, DJ Burns, Sung JM, Steven Yeager, Adam Scott, Gary Woodland, and Austin Ekro. Okay. One down. Let's keep going. All right. Let's uh, get back into another one. See how long this takes to fill. If you want to help out, please do. It's also a link in the description. Get you a bonus. Use the code Rick, and we will rock and roll here. Uh, all right. We're waiting on two spots. So while we while we're waiting, uh, I won't use the wheel here. But here's here's the wheel we're going to run out every you know three drafts or so. Uh, I'm going to spin this, and it's going to tell me what I have to do. Some of them, I get to do nothing. Free space. I get to draft like I would normally want. Uh, I have to pick guys who are on team no putt. Ball strikers, tee to green guys who can't putt. I have to reach 10 spots. So that means if I have the number one pick in that draft, I have to take the guy whose ADP is like 11. So I have to I have to reach all of them. This one forces me to only draft major winners. This one forces me to only draft live golfers, though I'm not actually sure that's going to be possible. Uh, I guess there are 10 live guys in the Masters. I guess I, I guess I guess maybe that's what I'm what, what I'm getting. I'm not going to get. I might not get all 10 guys in the Masters. Um, but will other people take them? And then this one forces me to only take lefties, which I would have to do a lot of thinking on um, to make sure I get them. All right. So we have the third pick here. So I have these ranked Scotty Scheffler, John Rahm, Rory McIlroy, though I have seen basically two through five be fairly interchangeable. Uh, Scotty's going number one everywhere. And then you're seeing a lot of shuffling between, is it Rahm? Is it Rory? Uh, then is it Brooks at three? Like I, I have Brooks at three, right? Or I have Brooks at four, excuse me. Brooks was at three in my earlier at, in my earlier rankings. <clears throat> There's only four lefties in the Masters. Harmon, uh, Phil, Robert McIntyre's not in it. Um, what about, well, I guess I can't even name anymore. So maybe I can't do lefties. Well, might have to, might have to remove that one. There's Scotty off the board. Rory goes next. So we're going to take Rom here. We're not going to be stupid. We're going to take John Rom. I have Rom number two anyway. He's in all the majors. Phenomenal. Bubba. Yep. There's a good one. That's another lefty. I'm sure I'm missing somebody else as well. I thought for sure there would have been more than that. I guess I could draft. The problem is I guess I could draft. It's not, I mean, I would be, I would be punting it because I would only have a handful of guys maybe at, at the masters, but there should be enough lefties throughout all four majors. I don't know though. So when this gets back to us at 10, um, I think the stock on Zalatoris is dropping a, just a hair. I would not mind if he was there. I would love to get Hideki. Well, okay. So there's Hideki at seven. So, so we're seeing with Hideki's run right now, with the way that he's been playing, um, Hideki also in my latest rankings flew up the charts. So I now have Hideki at, oh boy. Uh, 29th, and that's not even remotely high enough. I had him like 40th in the previous rankings. Hovland can't like, wow, we're going to get Ludwig here. We're going to get Ludwig here, and I don't have a lot of Ludwig. So he is probably the one guy who I am um, most underweight on because he's just been he, he's just been taken before I've gotten there every single time, right? Like everyone else is reaching on Ludwig. I do not have a lot of him. So I start here with Rom. And Ludwig, which is great. Now, is Ludwig in the majors? Right? Well, he's in uh the Masters, he's in the PGA, and you know, we don't have the final stuff yet for the US Open or the Open Championship, but assuming his OWGR states exactly where it's at, he's gonna he's gonna be able to very likely play in those events. So we're going Rom, we're going Ludwig. Now, when it gets back to us here at 15, an opportunity to take JT again. Although we got sniped on JT just, just prior. We'll see what happens. 
Cam Smith withdrew today for illness on Live Miami. Not sure I care that much because we are, you know, more than a week away. There goes JT. So um, we could go Colin and hope he fi- hopes he figures it out. He seems kind of lost to me. We could go Homa. We could go Cam Young. There was a comment in the chat about getting us some Cam Young. Let's go get Cam Young. I am trying, you know, I, I, it's very easy to go off your rankings or go off your ADP, but I guess in reality, if you are trying to get deep in this thing, being a little bit different, reaching a little bit here and there, it's not the end of the world. It's why I actually think that, you know, when I spin the wheel, if I get, uh, reach 10 spots. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it's going to hurt at the beginning because instead of taking Scotty Scheffler, we have to take Colin Morikawa, for example. But if our first pick is six and we have to go 16, I don't, I don't think it's horrible. Cam Young at the Masters. T7 and a missed cut. So the T7 last year gained six strokes, ball striking, putted well. Yeah, makes sense. Drive it kind of all over the yard. Cam Smith going at 19. I'm just not sure. I guess Cam Smith played well. Uh, he definitely played well at the 2020 Masters, right? And he might have played well beyond that. I mean, are we, are we going to get another Neiman? I don't. I don't mind it, but we're, it would mean we're kind of getting a lot more Neiman here. Wow. Okay. So Neiman falls to us at 22. Probably going to have to take that. Let me go, let me show you. I mean, we're just, so I've got the live, I do have the live metrics. Um, so since the start of, and I've, I've got the breakdowns as well. Since the start of 2024, Joaquin Neiman is one of the best players in the world. Um, no matter what, what tour you're on. Fleetwood just went right after Neiman. I wouldn't mind Burns here. We did not take Burns in that first one, I don't think. Burns, uh, Finau. I, I do not have a lot of Finau at all. I have very little Tony Finau. There goes Burns. So it's possible we might get Finau. I would, I'll, I'll go Finau or Connors here. And I feel okay with it. We'll see what happens. But here are, you know, let's do last, you know, 24 rounds or so. I think we're almost up. Okay. So Finau's off the board. If, if for whatever reason Connors went right now, we would take Terrell Hatton. I don't have a ton of Hatton. Okay, there's Harmon. So we're going to go Connors. Uh, and I'll show you Connors putting stuff in a second. Here's Neiman. So Scotty's gaining three strokes per round. Neiman's gaining 2.94. I mean, he's been he's been phenomenal. The approach plays sick. It's technically better than Scotty. Liv does their strokes game metrics a little bit different. So kind of take that with uh, a grain of salt. But it's really, really good golf. And it's not just on Liv. He's played well on the Asian Tour as well. Um, I want to show you Corey Connors at the Masters because we've got three straight top 10s from 2020, 2021, 2022. Good putting, loses 2.8 last year, misses the cut. He also lost five and a half around the green. Uh, Now he's playing a lot better golf, right? Gets to have a little bit of confidence coming from the Texas Open to this event. He's been piling up top 25s, and I did not previously have a lot of Corey Connors, so I'm I'm pretty okay with that. Um, so Sean asks, have you ever thought about a metric on a prize purse players that do better if the prize is higher? So I don't have that specifically, but you could also do, um, strength of field, which generally not perfectly correlates, but generally correlates with, um, how, how many, how, how big the purse is, right? You get all the best players in the, in the biggest fields. Maybe I can zoom this in a little bit. That actually might be a little bit more helpful for everybody. I can also get this out of here. Just remind you the use the code Rick link in the description 
if you want to join in on the fun. I don't like it zoomed in like this, but I think it's a lot easier for you guys to read. Um, we're in a pickle and we got to go fast. Nick Taylor. Now, when this gets back to us, Ben on is in all four majors, I believe. Matthew Pavone would be pretty interesting. Jake Knapp would be fairly interesting. I'm going to shortlist these guys just so I don't have to keep coming back to it. Keegan's falling. We'll keep an eye on Keegan. And I do want to get past this, especially in the later rounds. I do want to get out of the, um, just like the top 60 guys. But you start, you start, you start running out of guys who are playing major championships really quickly. No surprise. Keegan just went there at 37. Not bad. We will try to get a little bit more Harris English. And we will probably end up with more Steven Yeager than we want. I don't think I have any Jake Knapps because uh, Jake Knapp because his victory and he hasn't played particularly great since then. Uh, but taking him at 39 feels like a little bit much. They're still hanging Siwoo on us. Oh, God. Is Siwoo in? We're going to take Ben on. Try to mix this up a little bit. We've got Rom, Ludwig, Cam Young, Neiman, Corey Connors, Nick Taylor, Ben on. Jake Knapp is an enigma. Just when you think he's going to play well, he doesn't. When you think he's going to play poorly, he does. Metrics are still so good, though. I think he can. I, I think he can. It's going to be a problem that he's a, a debutant around Augusta National, but I think that there's. Some decent skill sets for him. There goes Nap. So we'll take we'll take Pavone. We'll have two more picks to go. Um, we might want to grab Denny. Eckroat still exists. Woodland still exists. Hadwin's in everything. We're not taking Tiger anywhere. Norin, what's Norin's OWGR? 66. He's playing well right now. I don't think he's in the Masters, though, is he? No, he's not. That's a shame because there's probably a really good chance. I mean, he's playing and eh, cooled off a little bit, but he's playing so good. He might be able to get into these. Maybe, maybe if Norin's still there, um, in the 10th round, which I think he's probably going to be. What about Hoygaard? Just kind of fell off, didn't he? How how down bad would we have to be to... Did I use that right? To use to get Ricky. We'll take Hoygaard there. Ricky's just been awful, right? Couldn't possibly consider playing him in a major, could we? Oh, Lord. No, I don't. I don't think that's going to work for us. So if this gets back to us at 10, we will um we might have some good options. Ekro, Woodland, Hadwin, Norin. Norin would be a a punt play, though. Because we got to get him later. We know he's not playing the Masters unless he finds a way to win this. Akshay just got back to 12 under. We might have to go Ekro. There goes Akshay. <laughs> His one chance to get into the Masters is win this, so. That's a little bit of a of a bet on that. Favorite hole at Augusta? I think it's two. Um, I just love that it's early in the round. You can make a big move. You've got to hit a, a good shot to the top of the hill or try to get it around there. And then, of course, the Sunday pin is awesome. And I, I just do like that it's early in the round. Um, I don't know when I'm, I am beyond thrilled to get there, obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous. I, I'm never nervous for like going to a, a sporting event, but um, yeah, I just, I just, I know it's going to go so fast and I'm just trying to convince myself to like, take it all in and enjoy it and all that. So yeah, maybe, it'll, maybe it will change. 
You know, I, I think that when I get down to like the corner, like 11, 12, 13, I think I'll probably feel the warm and fuzzies around there and, and things might change, but, um, yeah, I'm super, I'm super stoked. All right. There goes Ekro. We took Woodland last time. Let's take Norin and try to win this thing farther down the road. Um, if you're just jumping in, we are, we're drafting right now. We're two drafts in, we are on underdog and we're going to spin the wheel. There's a code, there's a link in the description for Rick uh, and get a deposit bonus. You can rock and roll. I will actually remove this lefty thing because uh, I don't think there's enough lefties. So we'll get rid of lefties and we'll spin this and we'll see what I end up with. I kind of hope it's reached 10 spots. That would be my favorite. Stop. Ooh, nothing. That's lame. I know I want, we'll save that one. How about this? We'll save that for later. I want to, I want to do something. I get the right to, to use, to use my nothing later team. No putt. Yes, 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 yes. So here are the rules. Um, these are going to have to be guys that are positive, very good T to green players. Uh, and they have to be losing strokes putting on my sheet here. Okay. That's, that's the key. They have to be. So let's do it. We've got to get team no putt guys. We're almost filled. Hopefully we get number one. Give us Scotty. That was my Coke zero that I just opened up. Team no putt team. Okay. So we're at three. So team no putt would be. Um, probably Decky. Technically Justin Thomas. But we'll probably end up taking a Decky in the three, which is sick. Because we can't take Rory, we can't take Rom, we can't take Kepka, we can't take we can't take any of these guys. Um, so we are probably going to have to take Hideki in the three. Love all your content, thanks. I appreciate that. That's awesome. If I wanted to build for PGA instead of Masters, what type of uh, golfer best fits that course? And any you like more at Valhalla? Well, first comes to mind is um, obviously Justin Thomas. Uh, but I think that the problem is um, it feels so far away. Like in the golf world, it's so far away, isn't it? But it's honestly, it's a little bit early for me to do that type of research. But I mean, I guess you're safe taking the live guys. You're safe. You know, you know, they're going to be in it. I think Bryson could be interesting. Like well, I, I like Bryson a lot for the fine, for at least two of the majors, for the middle of the majors. So we're going to take a decky here. How sick is that? Hideki and Zalatoris might be our one, two off the board. Yeah, I saw that Nico. So Nico says Brooks is using a new putter this week. Let me show you why. So this is sick. We're going to, we're going to take Hideki here. Um, because Brooks has been terrible with the putter and this is, this is going to include his live stuff as well. And I've got the live headshots in figure I might as well use the most official stuff. So lost a stroke putting in my code. He's actually better in Vegas. Lost three and a half strokes putting in Hong Kong and look at what he did last year. Just, just hemorrhaged on the putting surfaces last year. So no surprise to see me. It's more that like mallet style, right? Or has like wings on the back of it. So in the 10 hole, we've, again, we've got to take, we are on team, no putt. So we have to take somebody who has a negative strokes gain putting. Hideki was our first option. We could go Neiman. We could go Adam Scott, Morikawa, Benny on Will Zal Torres is there for us. So Morikawa, Tom, I got to start shortlisting these guys or else I'm going to lose track of them. Adam Scott, Cam Young, Keegan, Gary Woodland. <laughs> Adam Scott. Did I see Adam Scott? I think he's farther down, isn't he? Yeah, Adam Scott. Uh, how's Corey Connors has got to be, right? I just did T degree. Okay. So we're gonna take Zal Tours here. So I mean, it's not it's not the worst team in the world, right? You start Hideki and Zal Tours. The problem is you just passed up on like Rom and or you passed up on Rory and whoever is about to go right now. Cantley. Like the fact that Cantley is still on the board at 11 is my fault because I have taken I have taken those two. So that's on me. 
Again, this is now the, th the third draft in a row in which in the third round, I've said right now, Justin Thomas would be nice. And there, and, and again, he goes, he has yet to get to us there in the third round. Maybe if we are in a different draft spot, but I think we've been in four, four, three, three, I think are the three that we've had. So it has not fallen for Thomas for us. Um, it, it's falling a ton on Neiman. We're getting a ton of Neiman here. I'm also going to sort by ball striking, see if I can find some bad putters as well. Cause like Corey Connors has got to fit this. So there goes Neiman. So we're, we're going to, we're going to get Colin. I mean, it's, it's, it's great ADP wise. He's 10.8 we're getting him at 15, but all right. Hideki, he's going Adam Scott, Zalatoris, Colin Morikawa, these guys. Okay. So we technically could take Akshay. Akshay is viable. Connors works as well. Ben on. Glover, Norman, List. Wow. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure um, Norman is in these. He is uh, not, which so that would not be great. Smalley, I'm not sure he's in anything. So we are still, we're still doing okay. We're just going to need... We need a little luck here in these middle, middle sections. Cause if somebody takes a, you know, Adam Scott from us or something, like we're going to be pretty screwed. Just making sure I'm not missing anybody. Um, Finau would work. Is he still on the board? Finau still out there. Actually, that would probably be a good next pick for us. His ADP is 25. Don't take crutches. Don't take Finau. I need this. I need this. I need this. Three seconds to go. Don't be Finau. It was Burns. Okay, so we're going to get away with Finau here. Now we've got to go. Is Keegan available? He is. I'll tell you what. This ain't so bad. It's, it's about to get bad. Yeah, it's about to get bad. Svensson would technically work. I'm not sure where Svensson. He's not. He's not in anything. So that's going to be pretty painful. Siwu. Siwu's probably going to have to make our team. All right. So next up, we're probably again. We got to play a little ADP to make sure we have enough guys remaining here. We have to get Connors. He's playing great. He's team no putt, and he's been great at the Masters. So we we have to take Connors in a hope that. Keegan is still available next. Again, this is team no putt. That's, th that's the restriction we put on ourselves here. We spun the wheel. We got team no putt. It's Hideki, Zalatoris, Colin, Tony Finau, and Corey Connors. Not the end of the world yet. Though it might be soon. We need Keegan. We probably need Siwoo. And we probably need Adam Scott. I don't want to get in a situation where we're taking Vincent Norman, who is not in any major championship. So these are guys that have to be. So the way, the way that I have this set up is last 100 rounds. Losing putting. Luke List. Did I put him on the list? I did. Yeah, it's not pretty. So we need, Ke we probably need Keegan here and then Siwoo next i don't know if we'll get through both of them though because they're both early to mid 30 adps and that's right where we're at we're going to be at 34 i mean i love this team i'm obviously a, a team no putt sucker but i love this team did they switch the coverage or am i yeah they did switch the coverage when did they do that four minutes ago hopefully yeah they did okay so there's day so our play here is Keegan now, Siwu, maybe Adam Scott. Everybody has to be a negative putter. Rick, I'm Max Endert and Phil's my highest owned player. Uh, am I genius or crazy? 
I would have said you were crazy last year and he paid off in a big way. I kind of love this team if we can get through it. We just lost Siwoo. So we are going to need probably, so we have four picks to go. Adam Scott, Ben on, Lucas Glover, and probably Akshay. That's our path to getting four guys that are or might be in the majors. Oh no, Adam Scott's gone. Um, I could take a, a chance on Akshay. Is he going to win this golf tournament and get in next week? Or should I just take Ben on who I know is in? I guess I got to take the guy I know is in, which stinks. I'll take her. I'll take a chance. Do I have anybody else who I could conceivably play here? Sorting by putting. Hmm. Ryan Fox. He's in the Masters. Aaron Rye. He's not in anything. Oh, Jaeger. Jaeger would work. Jaeger fits. Where else? Uh, Gim. Ugh, can't do that. Yeah, I mean, this is this is our list here. We need... I mean, getting Jaeger there would be sick. Right at his ADP. Well, okay. There he goes. Oh, Fox is in Fox is in the Masters from what I can see here. He is. So we might take Fox. We're going to we're going to get stuck with somebody who's not in the Masters. That's the way that I think this is going to work out. Akshay is really four clear. Maybe we'll take Akshay next. Nobody's going to take Ryan Fox, right? So if we can get Akshay here, don't do it. All right. We'll take Akshay. We'll make the we'll make the bet. And then we'll take Fox at 9.3 and then probably Glover or Luke List is in. So we would probably have to take Luke List if Glover was gone. Okay, here, this is the first shot. I'm about to see the first shot of Akshay after I just drafted him. I guarantee he misses the screen. That would just be the ultimate. No, it's a pretty good shot. Okay, we'll take Fox here. And then we'll take Glover. Assuming he's there, if Glover's not there, it'll be Luke List. And our team no putt is actually not that bad. <laughs> Hideki, Zalatoris, Morikawa, Finau, Connors. Like, that could be a sick start. Uh, Keegan, Ben on, Akshay, Ryan Fox, and then whoever we get left, uh, not, not as sick. If you're just joining us, these are best ball drafts. So uh, it's for all the major championships, but you have to get through the Masters. You have to advance through each one. So um, we'll be in six six person groups for the masters. If you are in the top two, you advance. Then you go to, I think it's six person groups for round two or no, I think it's 10 person uh, groups for round two and Glover. There you go. Not horrible. Um, and then you go to six person groups. Okay. We've got three more spots left. I would give me the one, one. Give me, it's the only way you can get Scotty is 1 1. Look at that. His ADP 1.0. The only way you can get Scotty Scheffler <clears throat> is with the first pick. And look at these numbers. Stupid good. Okay, we're starting in 50 seconds. Yes. Thoughts on Ustazen as a unique player for the Open. Yeah, so that's all he's in, right? Because of his uh, his win. It would be, so there is, you know, you're going to have to get there to use him, right? But 
if you could drop the hammer, the Louis hammer, he's been awesome. He's been one of the better players in the world. I mean, look what he did. He went back to back on the DP world tour in December. He won both of those events and he has carried that into this year. Um, runner up in Oman, runner up in Jeddah, played well enough in Hong Kong. So yes, if you're going to take a guy, the problem of course, is he has no pathway into the other majors outside of getting incredibly hot on live and getting a special invite, but he has no other pathway. Um, you know, some of these guys like, um, you know, Gary Woodland's not a good example, but uh, let's say, I don't know. Let me scroll down here. You know, Daniel Berger. If Daniel Berger wins, you know, he's going to get into these majors, right? And his OWGR is going to go out. Just the live guys don't have a way to play themselves in. <clears throat> so here we go. Same situation as last time. We're again in the four spot. And again, it's Scheffler, Rom, and Rory, one through four. I think we originally took. Uh, we might have five. We might have the fifth pick in the in the first draft. So we have not had. We've not had one. We've not had two. We've not had six yet. So we're kind of stuck in a similar, a similar vein. So if you don't qualify in the first round, are you completely out? That's right. Yeah. So you have to advance. So this is a, this is a very unique one though. So there, there is also another uh, season long one. Let me pull let me pull that up real quick. Let me see if I can find the rules for that. Because there's another one that runs for basically after the Masters till the end of the year. We're on the clock though. So, okay, so here's our this is our chance to get speed. We we probably won't get another chance at this in this round. And we don't have a lot of them. So we're going to go Kepka Spieth here. That's a unique start for us. Let me see if I can find these rules. So here are the, okay. So this one starts at the RBC heritage. So that's the week after the masters. It's called the scramble returns. So the first the first round is four events, Heritage, Byron Nelson, Wells Fargo, PGA. Round two, then, if you advance, is another four um, events. And then round three is five. the final five events. Okay, so so this is just a little bit, it's a similar style, um, but more, more tournaments in each round. So if you like that more, Leo, that's probably a pretty good option for you. This, this like four or five, it's just leaving us a ton of Joaquin Neiman and we're going to probably have to go there again. Right. I mean, what are we, if he's the second best player in the world right now, which I don't think is that big of an exaggeration and we're getting him constantly at 14, 15, 16, don't we just have to take him? He's gotten better every time at the masters, I think. Miscut 40th, 35th, 16th. And then he's been red hot since November. I guess we just have to keep taking him. He's in two majors. Um, but he does have a path. Does he have a path to get into? Hold on. Let me make, uh, we don't have Sahith yet. Let's take Sahith. So. Can he get into the uh, PGA? So he got a special invite to... No, he got a special invite to the US Open to the PGA. Now I got to look. He got a special invite into the PGA. So he's in the first two majors. Now, if he were to finish top 10 at the US... Or at either one of those, would the US Open give him an invite? I don't know. It's kind of an interesting. This is a very unique team for us. Kepka, Spieth, Neiman, Sahith. I would not mind getting burnt. Okay, Burns. We're just never going to get any Burns. 
yeah, Florida's kind of all, all over the place, um, getting whiplash on what's going on, what's going on in Florida all the time with their uh, gaming regulations seem to be changing all the time. I don't want to keep, okay, how about this? We'll reach a, a hair for Russell Henley. Russell Henley is just a slightly better putting or just like a slightly better putting um, Corey Connors. Russell Henley, Georgia guy, has played well at the Masters, playing well right now. I know he just made a bogey, but playing well again this week. I'm pretty sure he's got a couple of Masters runs in him. Yeah, fourth last year, 30th, 15th, 11th, 21st, and 31st, so six straight top 30s. Yeah, we'll take that. And we don't have a lot of them yet. Do we take Mini Minwoo Lee? It's kind of falling off the map a little bit. Let's take him, and I'll pull up his stuff. <clears throat> He's got to fix this. He's got to fix that second shot. It's not that far removed from great play. Four starts ago, he finished runner up at at uh, PGA National. Haven't seen him since Valspar. Should be good to see him out there. How has he done? He played well at the Masters, didn't he? He played well at the Majors last year. I can't remember what he did at the Masters. He missed the cut. Finished 14th in 2022, though. Would not mind English here, although we might have to reach for Jaeger. Okay, so English is gone. So I I guess we will. I mean, I'd much prefer Jaeger over Straka, Post, and Fowler, Kirk. And we already have a bit of Adam Scott. So we're going to go Jaeger here. Favorite round 10 picks, says Ben. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so those are going to be your guys like in the 50s of ADP or whatever. Um, Gary Woodland is the one I have the most of. I think that Lucas Glover is interesting. I think that Jake Knapp is very high upside, very low, low. Um, is Chris John Bazan in these majors? Is Bez in the, no, I don't think he is. Cause I think he would just finish like 56th or something. He would be, I mean, Bazan Hote's like the most improved player on the PGA tour right now. The problem is he's, he didn't get into the masters. Uh, I guess technically, if he were to find a way to win this, which isn't impossible, just very unlikely, he'd get into the Masters. But his his OW, OWGR is is flying up. He might get in the others too. He he's been awesome. See, we, see, I'm glad we didn't reach for Adam Scott because we're gonna get him here at we're gonna get Adam Scott in the ninth round or in the eighth round. Excuse me. Feels pretty good. So Bazayden Hote's rank at the beginning of the year was 101st. He's now 55th. So he missed out on he missed out on making this by five spots in the OWGR. Um, so there's a pretty darn good chance he gets into the other majors. So if he's still around, which I assume he's going to be because he's hardly being drafted, we'll take him in the tenth. We might snap up. Well, see, Patrick Reed, again, he just, they're just not in anything. And I would hate to give up a roster spot. So the, the live guys that I'm willing to take, and we got to get some Bryson at some point, are Neiman, DJ Brooks, um, Bryson, Cam Smith to an extent. Although Cam Smith has not played well, we'll look him up here in a second. Okay, here's what I think we'll do. We'll take a little bit of a gamble on Akshay winning this. Okay, we'll take two gambles. Akshay in the ninth. Basically has to win this to get into the Masters. Then he's going to get into everything else. And then we're going to take Bezayden Hote in the 10th with the concept that he's just going to continue to play well, move himself up, get himself in the final three majors. We'll do that. But we are going to punt that spot for the Masters because Bezayden Hote's not in it. 
but we've got Brooks, Spieth, Neiman, Sahith, Henley. It's not bad. Oh, there's Fox. I don't think I've seen him go yet. Glover just went. We'll take Bizet note and we will move on to the next. We're drafting best ball teams. If you want to get involved, link in the description. Rick, promo code. We are trying to win 50 grand. 50 grand for first off $10 if we can make it all the way through. Now, we are already filled up and ready to rock and roll. We have not gotten the one spot yet. We have not gotten the two spot yet. We have not gotten the six spot yet. We are in the fifth spot, which I believe is what we got originally. So we are still stuck in one of these kind of similar um, collations. You know, everybody kind of falls into the same spots. Let's look up Cam Smith. He just withdrew today. He was sick. I don't think I care about that because if he's, if he's really just ill, he'll be fine for next week. Finished second in Hong Kong. Continues to putt well. He's played He's played better. Eh, I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag. His master stuff is pretty good, though. Yeah. His master stuff is awesome. We'll see if we can get him. We'll see if we can get a little Cam Smith, Bryson, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas. These are guys I would like to be getting, but we're stuck in this third, fourth, and fifth kind of spot here. Scotty won. Boom. Yeah. Shock. We will take... Um, I mean, it's probably going to end up being Xander, right? I guess we could take Victor. We don't have a lot of Victor. A little bit nervous about that, but we'll take Victor if we if we get there. We have a lot of Xander. We have a decent bit of Cantlay. I would like to get more Wyndham Clark. I would like to get more Victor. We'll try to take those. Rom two. We'll spin the wheel now. Here's what's going to really annoy me is if well, I guess I've I've saved one free space. I didn't use it last time. If we get the if I spin it and it says reach 10 spots and you we have the number one pick, I'm 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 gonna have to I'm gonna have to take Scotty. <laughs> we gotta pick we gotta pick faster in this boys. One, two, three, come on. See the dachshund for my logo? That's Oliver, right? Love that they have the dachshund. Underdog's been very good. I want. Oh, do they have the? Do they have pick them up yet for Masters? I'll check in a second. What I think we're gonna crush them on is like Amen Corn. Oh, of course, Hovland goes there. We could take Kepka at five. What do we want to do? I'm fine with any of these next five guys. Um. Let's take Brooks. That's a weird run out for us. I would have been fine with Xander. I would have been fine with Brooks. I wanted to get more of Clark. I can probably still get Cantlay here. We have a Xander Cantlay connection earlier. Let's see if we can get a, a Kep. Oh, Spieth just went at six. And Thomas just went at seven. Wingsuit is going off the rails. Okay. Well, now we got to take Xander. Because Xander's a 4-4 ADP in the eight spots. We've got Kepka, Zan. We might have ended up with them. We would have ended up probably with them if we went in the opposite direction too, though. So a Spieth Thomas start. Wow. Cannot get any of those guys. You see, you see the insanity of what's happening? <clears throat> Do we have pick them up yet? Zach Eady. This is Valero. No. Oh, man. So where I think we're going to crush him, because I'm going to pull all the numbers and stuff. I think we're going to crush him on like amen corner props. You know, they're going to put up a, a score, 12 and a half. I don't know what it's going to be. I think we're going to crush him on amen corner props. And it's a fun sweat because you can always see every single hole. Wyndham Clark at 10 is a pretty good deal. What is, um, what is Wingsuit up to? Wingsuit just went Spieth and JT. (laughs) 
see what they do next. This might be our chance to get Cam Smith, by the way. You know, assuming these guys are kind of gone. Assuming Ludwig Zalatoris and Hideki are gone by the time it gets to me, that'll probably just leave us with, with Cam. I won't take I won't take Fitzpatrick. I won't take another Neiman just in case. But Cam Smith could be your X factor there, and he should he's in everything. So we will hopefully get Cam Young there. Or uh, Cam Smith, excuse me. Cam Young just went off the board. My brain, my brain was fried. There goes Hideki. Then we're going to see Ludwig go. We're going to see Zal Torres go. And we're going to take Cam Smith. Right? Right, friends? Do it. Akshay still four clear. There's Sadeki. There's Ludwig. All right. Or I'm sorry. There's Ludwig. This will be Zal Taurus. And we'll take Smith. We just got sniped. Uh, Cam Smith just went at 16. So we'll take Zal Taurus. I don't know why I'm disappointed. I love him, but that would have been that would have been a really nice spot to get our Cam Smith pick in. Alex Noren round of the day, and he's still on the golf course. I mean, look at this. Look at how much Neiman we're getting. Uh, I'm gonna take him again. We, we are so heavily invested in Joaquin Neiman right now. I would love it if we could, could, could somehow get Bryson to fall to us next or Burns. These are guys I or, you know, just don't have enough of. I've been entering the Masters lottery, lottery for 10 years and have yet to get in. It's crazy. I know. It's like, I don't know. what I can't remember what the numbers are. I saw the numbers once of how just how few – there is Bryson next. Is Scrapper? You are you? Is Scrapper listening? I wonder if they're here. Because that's too immediate. I don't know. It's a lot of credit I'm giving giving myself. I saw the numbers are outrageous of how many people enter and how many actually get in. Um, it's very very unlikely. We could take. You know, Hatton, Sam Burns, even even sprinkling in a little Jason Day or Shane Lowry would be fine. I think Lowry's still in everything, right? Where are you, Shane? Yeah, Lowry's still in everything. Give you a break from the banner for a second. So Burns is off. All right, let's get here. So here, we're going to find out. I want Terrell Hatton. So if Scrapper Yo takes Terrell Hatton, we will have a hunch that they are sniping us from the chat. Uh, I have Norman down pretty low, Michael. Okay, so Hatton went before that because uh, he's not in anything, right? He'd have to play his way in. Okay, so now actually, um, I won't even say it, but Lowry's the guy we want. I'm hoping there's enough of a delay where I just said it's seven seconds in advance and Scrapper doesn't have enough time to take him. Okay, takes Henley. That's fine. Okay, so we'll take we'll take Lowry there. And let's look up what Lowry's been doing. I thought his Florida stuff was better. Let's look here. Played in Singapore, fine. Yeah, these are good. These are fine. Majors. He's got a bunch of top. He's got five top 20s or four top 20s in the last five majors. Sure. Sure. Right back on us. 
Uh, I think this is a Corey Connor spot, is it not? Hard to look away. We'll go Connors, especially because Connors, you know, I mean, he was in the mix uh, at the PGA last year until that ball he hit into the edge of the lip of the lip of the bunker on 16. Um, has played well at the Masters. Not sure his game sets up particularly well for the Open, but we can kind of deal with that farther down the road. What does Corey Connors' major championship record look like? T52 at the Open, T28 at the Open, 15th at the Open. I mean, it's, last couple of years have been decent. Oh, I have Neiman. I mean, um, I have Neiman in my ranks at 25, but that's really only because of the fact that I'm not sure he has a path to get into the last two majors. The if I was if we were just doing masters stuff, which I'm I am leaning heavier on master side of things, I think he's a lot higher than that. You know, if we are leaning on getting through the first two. I would, um, I mean, he's probably like 11th, 9th, something in that ballpark. I would stick him at like, um, ahead of, ahead of Tommy Fleetwood and behind Wyndham Clark. I'm pretty high on it. I mean, I've got the shot by shot data. It looks really good. Even if you start to say, okay, well, it's live who gives, it's different competition. Like the shot by shot stuff's really good. His Asian tour stuff's really good. Seems incredibly motivated. Um, has played well at the Masters. They're showing Hideki from 268 yards out. Second shot on a part. If they're showing this angle, he is going to just dart this, right? They're showing this angle with a wood. Oh, we did. Look at this. Get up there. That's unreal. Get back. He's one of the best, uh, like fairway wood guys in the world. We need the first pick. We need the first pick. We're going to go with, uh, Adam Scott next, if we can. And we'll get him. Akshay makes par. He's about to go wire to wire, really? Are we on the clock? Oh, sorry. Wasn't paying attention. All right, let's get our Harris English fix here. Right? Let's get our Harris English fix. I like Harris. And he is um, in the Masters. He is, where are you, Harris? He's in the Masters, he's in the U.S. Open, and he's tracking and expected to be in the PGA Championship and the Open Championship. And I think he's just healthy and playing well again. And majors are usually his best thing, right? Like when, when, when par is a good score, that's when Harrison, look at, look at this 17th at Phoenix, seventh at Riv, 21st at API, 19th at the players. Missed the cut this week. Who cares? Get to Augusta early. We've got two picks to go. We can take some flyers here. What do we think, chat? Ryan Fox. I don't think we got him. Well, I think we did get him. maybe a little Norin. Bo? Bo's got to be in some majors, doesn't he? You're telling me Bo didn't get in the Masters? No, he didn't. Wow. Go Louis. Sergio. Are any of these guys in the majors? I don't think so. Mito, Bjork, 
Bubba. Carlos Ortiz has been great, but he's not in anything, is he? I think he might have gotten an invite to one of them. PGA? Hmm. I would not mind Akshay. Go Akshay, Ryan Fox, and be done with it. That's what we'll do. Oh, I almost clicked Ekro. I, I mean, that wouldn't be bad either, but Akshay, then we'll take Ryan Fox, and we'll move on. I'll spin the wheel next. Of course, it's going to be something that like I just hate. Um, only major winners? Okay. Only major winners. So that saves me for... If I get the number one pick, I can take Scotty. Thank goodness. All right. So only major, only major winners. Come on. Give us the one. Do we want the one one here? Or do we want the one one when it's like the most flexible thing that we can do? Doesn't matter. We're going to hit Scotty if we want one. Come on. Give it to us. Yes. The one one. So we will take Scotty and then we've got to find nine other major winners. That might be harder than I think it is. That might be harder than I think it is. All right. So that means we get no Zalatoris. We get no Xander. We get no Victor. We get no um, Cantlay. Ludwig's out. Um, Max Homa's out. Neiman's out, right? Like we got to get major champions. Luckily, we are going to get Scotty in the one-one, which we've it's our first time in the one-one. Took an over an hour. <laughs> Took over an hour, but we'll take them. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, the chat would be uh, just a fine place. We're just hanging. We're just hanging, having a good time. Oh, this feels good. Let's click Scotty's name. Yes. Let's go. All right. We might have to do a little bit of uh, thinking here. So let me just start clicking major winners. Although I guess it doesn't these guys aren't going to be there when, when it gets back. Let's just start clicking major championship winners' names. Oh boy. I'm running I'm running out very quickly here. Harmon. Lowry Day. Day one or something, right? Day one the PGA. Uh Keegan. Uh Siwu won the players. Fowler, no. Kirk, no. Adam Scott, yes. Nick Taylor, no. Oh my gosh. I might run out. I might run out a lot faster. Justin Rose won. Justin Rose won the U.S. Open at Marion, right? I think so. Patrick Reed is on, available for us. Phil Mickelson is available for us. Lucas Glover is available. Gary Woodland is available. Adwin, no. Tiger's technically available. Am I missing anybody? Who am I missing? No Neiman, no Fleetwood, no Cam Young, no Sahith, no Hatton, no Burns, no now no sung jay right i'm still good on all that we are going to get back-to-back -back picks here which is nice honors minwoo henley i'm trying is this did someone sneaky win what no see won the players sep harris english why do i think harris english won something why why is that like no okay so here's the thing. We've got to take major winners and we do not have a lot of speed and we do not have a, have a lot of JT. So we are just going to take them both right now. Spieth, JT. We're going to have to find more major winners though because we are going to run out of these guys very, very quickly. God, am I going to have to start taking Tiger at some point? Uh, Moran, Gooch, Louis technically would work. Um, Sergio would work. Are there enough in this field? 
I, I obviously didn't think this through. To make sure I would even have enough of these guys. Bubba, wow, that would be tough. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough of these guys. Webb, I don't think Webb's in anything, is he? Is Webb in the Masters? No. We've got a good start, though. Scotty Spieth, JT. Could be disastrous. <laughs> Are you concerned the final group will be 310 Scotty teams? Playoff uh, NFL best ball final group was pretty much 100% CMC. That's a good point. <clears throat> it's like you got to get there, but then you want to be different, right? It's kind of weird. So we've got a, we've got a bunch. None of them are great. And Cam Smith just went off the board. DJ just went off the board. We might get our luck at Harmon, though, which is kind of what we, or uh, I'm sorry, at, at Bryson. We don't have any Bryson, I don't think. Or at least today we don't. Fleetwood goes, that's great for us. We want them drafting non-major winners. I think Bryson's going to, I think we're going to lose out on Bryson. We're going to have to go like, Harmon, which would be nice because we don't have any Harmon. That's fine to loop him in there. Like going Harmon Lowry would be fine. Sahith going is great for us in this situation. Just a numbers game right now. Just don't take a major. Ch okay, there goes Bryson. That stinks. So we're going to go Harmon. Lowry. Scotty, Spieth, JT, Harmon, Lowry. It's not the worst. Oh, Crutches says here to help. Thank you, Crutches, who's in this in this chat right now. Just stay away from major winners for me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be Scotty and the zits, right? Scotty and the uh, meatballs. Scotty and all these losers. I mean, we're 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 gonna run out very very quickly. Assuming we even get there, our the rest of our team would be Day, Keegan, Adam, Scott. Justin Rose, Lucas Glover, which would be fine. But we are just going to run out of these guys, I think. And we're, we're actually going to end up with <laughs> Bubba, Sergio, and Webb Simpson instead. Oh, boy. This uh, Valero is going faster than I thought. Speed's almost done. We've got a couple holes to go. Akshay is already on 12. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to take longer than this. I got to do the first cut afterwards. I've got to update the data. I've got to do all that fun stuff. But I, I don't know why I thought that was going to be on longer. They're going pretty fast. Here, Crutches is now just going to dagger me, right? Like, oh, I'm here to help. Keegan, right? Now nah, he takes Sung JM. Thank you much. Thank you, thank you. Jordan Spieth from the greenside bunker. Just ran at him 20 feet by. Come on. Get me there without picking major winners. Seb Straka, yes. Come on. Don't take one. Don't take one, Pooba. He didn't. All right, so here we go. That was a very good run out for us. Nobody took it. Jason Day was the last major champion off the board. So here we go. Keegan. Adam Scott. We've gotten through seven rounds. We only need three more. I would not mind Rose Glover Woodland. It's very possible. We might also go Rose Reed Mickelson. But anything other than Rose Glover Woodland is pretty crappy because I guess Phil's in every, I guess we'd have to consider Phil too. It's not going to be pretty, but he's in everything, isn't he? Um, winning the 21 PGA. He's in everything. 
So, so if one of those other three go, Phil would be fine. If two of those guys go, now we're pretty screwed because we will have to go with somebody who's probably only going to play one major. Maybe Tiger. Would we have to take Tiger in that spot? Because at least he conceivably would play. I don't know. It's it's weird that Tiger has a better path than Louis does to these majors. So we've got like four reasonable selections left, and we have to get three of them. We're two picks away from taking two of them, which will be nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. We'll see. How did you get in the Masters? Um, get the lottery or special invite. So um, media with CBS Sports. So we're doing a bunch of like range stuff. So I'll be on CBS Sports Network. Uh, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but Wednesday through Sunday, I'll be on TV. We'll do some range stuff. We'll do some analysis and whatnot. Um Wow, we're going to get two of these guys. All right, so we're taking Rose, we're taking Glover, and then assuming we can end up with Woodland or Mickelson, we'll, we'll get through this. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, so via media, so I'm there Tuesday to Tuesday. So I'm flying out Tuesday, and I'm flying back Tuesday. So I'm actually staying an extra day on Monday. Um, we're going to do like a, a wrap show on CBS Sports Network, which I'm probably just going to do for my hotel room, quite honestly. Um, we'll see about that. But yeah, that's the, that's the pathway, obviously. Super thrilled. Who knows? Maybe I'll win the media lottery and play on Monday. If if I win the media lottery, I'm gonna have to tell CBS like, I'm um, not doing that show on Monday. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Augusta National. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if my um, like the way that I would commentate live play-by-play -play stuff is very different than what's on right now. I would not say much. I would do it a lot like tennis uh, where you just let the action do the talking and you provide the insight a little bit. You don't need to, you don't need to speak while the action's going on. And in tennis, they do a great job of that. Denny's ball looks like it's plugged, but it looks like it bounced. Is that right? Is that what happened? Maybe it didn't bounce, but there's a pitch mark right next to it. So assuming that crutches lives up to his word and assuming that he took Ricky Fowler. Thank you. So assuming we can just dodge one of these, as long as this doesn't go Woodland, Mickelson, Mickelson, Woodland, we will, we will get through this, which is crazy. A major championship only from the one, one spot. Wow, we did it. And we're going to get it. So we'll get either Woodland or Mickelson. Do we want Mickelson? Should we just be freaky and get Mickelson? We've got Woodland. If well, Let's just cap it off with Phil, right? Let's do it. Let's cap it off with Phil. Screw it. Let's do it. Um, all right, let's keep going. Trying to win 50K from 10 bucks. We're the first one in. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I don't think, I don't think commentating golf is easy. I don't think doing the play by play is easy, but I think that there are some very easy things to make it more palatable, quite honestly. And it does not involve repeating the same things over and over again or anything like that. Code is lit. Rick, link is in the description. We'll try to do as many props as we can for next week, but we are um we're a bunch of bunch of drafts into this today. We've gotten one uh one 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 spot. We have not played out of the sixth spot yet. We're in the fifth spot right now. Josh Blonde, that looks familiar to me. That is either a Rick Rungood subscriber or I've drafted teams here with him before or something, but that looks familiar to me. He's in the one one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you can snipe if you want. 
Josh, take, take, take best of, take what you were going to do. That's, that's fair, right? I want you to, uh, I want you to snipe if necessary. If you were going to take them. How about Victor falling to us at five, right? That'd be a fun start. We don't have a Victor start yet. So go Rom, Rory, Xander, Brooks. Or actually doesn't need to, right? Let's get, get us Victor here. Starting with Victor would be a new one for us. We might get it. Yeah, we will. Okay, cool. So we're going to start with Victor. And we are going to run it back with, we could go the Scandinavian boys and go Victor Ludwig. That'd be fun. Although I feel like Cantlay is being it way too overlooked in these spots. Um, if it wasn't the Masters first, I would probably have taken Ludwig. But the the experience thing kind of worries me a little bit. And Cantlay has been... I think this run of majors, and don't quote me on this, but I'm about to check it out, has been like his best run of majors. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's playing really well. I missed the cut of the PGA Championship in 2022, and then since then, it's a bunch of top 15 finishes. T33 at the Open Championship is his worst. So we're going to start Victor Cantlay here. I agreed. I think we haven't seen Victor in a long time. Josh says he thinks he's going to be pretty low owned for next week in DFS. I think that's right. And he, it, it's not unusual for him to, to round into form off the golf course. Uh, he does that a lot. This is a new build for us. Victor can't lie. This is exciting. Now the, the real, the real excitement would be if we can get cam Smith at 17. Um, we've gotten a lot of Neiman. We don't have any Fitzpatrick. We don't have any Homa. We just cannot get past Cam Smith at 15, right? I mean, we just cannot. I would take, we'll, we'll avoid Neiman. Do again, though, like it feels sick to avoid Neiman in this spot for Fitzpatrick or Homa, especially because Homa just went. I mean, do I just go DJ? I might be able to get DJ on the other side too. I'm just, I'm just going to live and die with Neiman here. I would love to run this back with DJ. If we can start this Hovland, Cantlay, Neiman, DJ, that'd be splendid. We got one more, one more pick to fade. We got it. All right. Wow. That's pretty fun. That's a very fun team right there. Hovland, Cantlay, Neiman, DJ. That's a really fun team. What is going on on Liv right now? What's DJ doing? Show me some life. Show me some life, DJ. Where is he at? Louis again in fourth. Sergio's winning. Reed playing well. Where is DJ's in seventh? Uh, DJ, Rom, and Neiman are all tied for 17th. Phil's in almost last again. Cam Smith withdrew. We knew that. Wow. Hmm. No chance Bryson gets to us, right? No chance Bryson gets to us. We have we we need we need Burns. We need Cam Smith. With none of these guys. Um, trust me, Gem City Greediron, who says, if you get the media play, you should recap it on a show for YouTube. I, I will recap every moment of me being on site if that happens, right? That would just be insane. This is another kind of a tough run out for us here. Uh, Bryson out, Burns out, Hatton out, M out right in front of us. Uh, we have a ton of Shane Lowry. We probably have a lot of Corey Connors and Jason Day. Could reach for Henley, though he's going to be available in a second. Um, 
gosh. All right. We're going to try to get Connor's. We're going to try to get Connor's and probably uh, Russell Henley, although he just went. So, yeah, that was a very tough run out for us. And the two guys that I would have liked, Lowry and Henley, both just went. That was a very unfortunate little run out. That stinks. Um, absolute dart throw on Tom Kim. Just we don't have any of him. Nobody wants him. Maybe he'll figure it out at some point in the year. But that that was a very difficult run out from pick basically 23 to 32 was we did not get the ones we wanted there. Uh, my handicap is currently 7.8. I feel like I'm playing better than that, but I'm not kind of stuck. Mm. This like 32 to 42 spot is very intriguing and it kind of has to fall very specifically. And I'm not sure we've I'm not sure we've gotten it yet. I would also like to draft out of the sixth spot. That would be fun. Now, now it's like because I've taken Tom Kim, do I just double down on Ricky Fowler or like somebody else that or Siwoo, somebody else that I think is incredibly crazy, or do I do I match Tom Kim with some level of safety? Yeah. Jaeger continues to go well before 40. Um, okay. So let's just double. Let's go Fowler. Let's try to win the 50 K and hope these guys rekindle something. Tom, Kim, Ricky Fowler. We don't have any of them. And now we just have them both on the same team. And then we'll try to get, Is Denny in the Masters? The answer is yes. Let's take Denny here. This was a very, very fun team, and then we ran into turbulence. So Hovland, Cantlay, Neiman, DJ, Connors, very fun. Not so fun. Not so fun after that. Uh says Rick, where'd you go to college? What was your degree? I went to I went to two different schools. I only um I I honestly went to school to play baseball. I went to on a baseball scholarship. Um I started at LaSalle in Philadelphia and transferred for baseball. Uh but my degree's in marketing management. So pretty generic. And then I just um kind of learned a lot about data along the way and kind of the first job or two out of college were very data driven. I've always liked math and then kind of just learned enough to be dangerous and started to attach it to sports and the rest is history. Yikes. This was a really fun one until let's see if we can get Akshay Ekrod or fill and round this thing out. There goes Akshay. So we might get Ekrod and Phil. Yeah. I think we're going to get Phil. Nobody's going to pick Phil here, right? So we'll take Ekrot in the ninth. Mm. That was a team that could have been, I think. 
I don't know that for it's easy to say that like in the moment, right? And, and and after you draft teams, every team looks good, right? You can just kind of find a way. But that one felt like we were getting a decent run at it. Things were falling in our direction until they weren't. Fifty K to first, twenty five K to second. So if you can get to the final three fourteen or three ten or whatever, you're guaranteed four hundred. If you can get out of the first round, you're guaranteed eight, which is not the ten that you put in. But obviously, the the big pay is you're you're shooting for the lotto ticket. How full is this? Like 40%. So it'll go up to, yeah. So it'll go up to 55,000. It's 39% full, 150 max. They've got less than a week to fill it. It'll probably fill it. How sick would it be to have one team that, one team that makes a run, right? One team that gets you to the to the last. Oh, we're at one one again, and I have zero restrictions this time. Scotty. We're going, Scotty. Yes, we are. Yes, we are going, Scotty. Don't even need to make me wait the seven seconds. I'm taking Scotty. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll pick him as fast as I can. Our last Scotty draft was selection cannot be made. There we go. Whew. I think I tried to tried to do it too fast. That scared me. So what did we take in the last Scotty drafts? Oh, we did Scotty, then Spieth, then JT. So this is going to be sick, though, because now we're going to have one 12 13. This might be the spot I have to take Cam Smith. <laughs> I think we went Scotty Speeth JT last time. We had Scotty. So let's probably do something different this time. Wow, Kepka just went second there. I don't think it's the end of the world, but Rom at four. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Getting pretty hungry. I just ate though. How am I hungry again? I worked out this morning and I thought it was a 60 minute class I was going to. And I found out that the first Saturday of the month, every of uh, those classes are 90 minute classes. I was like, oh my God. I didn't know that until I walked in. Um, speech just went at seven. There's it, it's 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 so interesting to see who people are reaching on. And as much as there is there is um, questions around Jordan Spieth, he is probably the guy being reached on the most. And I, it is either super sharp or very square. And I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't mind. I think I prefer the reach than than avoiding him. So we're going to get a pretty decent start here. Give me like a Ludwig Hideki or no, maybe, maybe we'll run the Cam Smith stuff out here. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Hideki Cam Smith. Boom, boom. Let's do that. Or Ludwig Cam Smith. That'd be kind of sick too. Do I take Ludwig? Wow. DJ just went. Oh, Ludwig or Hideki here. Ah. Decky. And we'll finally get our Cam Smith. There we go. Okay. Scotty Hideki Cam Smith. First off, three guys that have been very good at Augusta National. So that's that's fun. 
Uh, I do not like that I gave up on Ludwig. Not gave up, but like I I I passed there. Connors just went at 14 over Ludwig. Oh my lord. What is this? Is a fun run from E. So this is, I mean, maybe this is how you win these things, right? This run here from East Sack Girl is Brooks Kepka, DJ, Corey Connors. Maybe that's, I, I, it's not, I mean, it doesn't really help you if you're just running the same ADPs as everybody else. It's really hard to click those names in that order, though. We should probably reach. I'll tell you what, the next draft I'll do, I'll reach 10. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're passing up a lot of talent. Top, see, and then there JT goes 19. Like J, JT's also, JT might go nine and he might go 19. It's incredible. I'm I'm also pretty sure that Neiman routinely going 16 to 20 is way too low. Like he should be going way higher than that. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll we'll, we'll do the crutches method. So after we get past 20 in the ADP, we'll reach we'll reach 10. That's probably smart cuz you're giving up uh giving up a lot if you skip Scotty and go with Whoever. Wow. Okay. So, oof, boy. All right. Let's do this. We'll take Bryson, who we wanted. And we're going to take Fee now. We don't have a lot of either of those guys. Cam Young would have been the normal selection there. Um, And Burns, I like a lot, but I'm. I'm wondering if something is brewing with Finau right now. He's playing a little bit better. He's passing the eye test. Played well in Houston. Didn't putt very well. 26 last year at the Masters. 35th. 10th. 5th. 10th. I think something's kind of brewing with Finau. Yeah, Josh says you have way better options there than I did. I agree. This has been a fairly good start, right? Scotty, Decky, Smith. I, it's it's because we're getting a little bit of chaos from East Sack Girl, and she's shifting. She's shifting the run here now. Right now, it doesn't matter. Like now, this is the this is the dead spot, right? Or I guess the spot that um, wins you these things. Where like I don't I don't love any of these guys. So what I'll probably end up doing is I mean East Sack girl could take anybody right now. At pick 35. Nick Taylor. It's not bad. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take Jaeger. And probably. Adam Scott played well today. He's T16 right now. Yeah. Yeah. Take Jaeger and Scott. Here's Adam Scott. Um, was awesome to start 2024. Found a little bit of turbulence recently. Playing well today. Playing well this week. Give me this. Give me these ball striking numbers. The putting stuff. Is he hitting it well this week? He is through three rounds. He's gaining on approach. He's gaining off the tee. He's putting unbelievable. He's going to go back to Augusta National. This is a, I mean, I don't believe in jinxes, but knock on wood. It's a, that's a, that's a very favorable start for me. If this team wins at all, remember this. Scotty Hideki, Cam Smith, Bryson, Tony Finau, Steven Yeager, Adam Scott. And now hopefully by the time this gets back to us, we are going to be right around. Yeah. 
here. Ekro, Pavone, Phil, Glover, Woodland. I think Hoagie's in everything. Uh, that's not true. He's not in the Masters. Taylor Moore, is he still out there? Yep. He's been playing a little bit better. We don't have any Taylor Moore. Uh, Grillo, also available. If we want to mix this up a little bit. He satsnays in the in the uh, in the Masters. What's his uh, what's his OWGR? Eighty sixth. Hmm. I wish Norn was in the Masters. Sentence that no one has ever said in their entire lives. Moore just went off the board. Isak, girl. All right. We'll take Grillo, and we will take – is Akshay still winning this thing? Grillo, Akshay. It's not a bad run for us, but then we'll take whoever we get it at 10. And then the next, the next, uh, the next draft, we will – get through two rounds and then we will um uh reach 10 spots on everybody which i think will be pretty interesting i'm just going to go fire up the next draft Yeah, that one's already full. Okay, so here's the other one. We are in the sixth spot. <laughs> so what we'll do is uh, when it gets to us at 18 and 19, we will reach 10 spots on everybody. Here's our last pick. It'll be maybe Glover or Phil or Ekrod or... Pavone or Woodland or Knapp or I don't know who it's going to be. This draft, oh, this is going to be perfect. It's gonna, this one's going to end in 30 seconds. This one's going to start in 30 seconds. This was a pretty good, this was a pretty good draft. Even to round seven, I, I really liked it. I still don't mind it. That's a, that's a good one. It's one of my favorites. Of course, it started with Scotty, but all right. We are underway in the second one. Wow, Phil just went 57th. Come on, end of this. Ekrot's gone. So we're going to take Woodland or Glover here. Probably just take Glover. <laughs> Whoa. Hideki just went two overall. All right, we'll take Glover there and end that one. Hideki just went two overall. Well, that's interesting. So that means we're going to get two pretty... Look at this. So six and seven, we're going to get... We're going to get Brooks and Victor. 
Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. So now we got to start reaching. We got to start reaching. So 2829. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be so ugly. We got a gift of Hideki second overall. Now we're going to have to just punt this away. Um, Maybe we'll do it in the next couple of rounds. <laughs> maybe we'll get through the top 20 instead of to the top 20. Let's see what's available. It's this is why it's so hard to like play good golf. It's so it's just like you know what the right decision, even when you convince yourself the decision that you're gonna make, um like now executing it is just like a whole nother thing. So two overall for a decade. Now the guy's back on the clock. Who's he gonna take at 11? Jason Day? Who's he gonna take? Cam Smith. It's not the worst. It's a reach, it's not the worst. I might have to I might have to wait to start the reaching game. Look at Spieth still hanging in this thing. What a sicko. I mean, it's crazy that Spieth is I mean, him and Roy, they're in eighth. And they're or they're in, yeah, they're in eighth or eight shots back. I mean, even McCarthy, who's like, you know, too clear of everybody except for Akshay. Stinks for him. Ooh. Rory just slipped out of. I think it was a birdie putt on 14. This might have to be my last draft here for now because I thought they're like way farther than I thought. I'm going to have to go get ready for first cut and everything. So we we'll might have to. I can't believe we've been going for two hours. I might have to put a pin in this and. Come back later. So I'll just remind, before I forget, just remind you. Link is in the description. Code is Rick. Go sign up for Underdog. Get your deposit match. Um, they've been great. You know, one of the things that I worked with them or when I was negotiating with them is I wanted a, a bigger bigger investment in golf and they've uh, exceeded that and then some. So I've been really happy with what they've with what they've done with best ball, pick them, season long stuff. It's just been, it's been great. So here we are at 18 and 19. Okay. This is kind of interesting. So we've got a lot of guys that we haven't taken a lot of, we could go Fleetwood, Fitzpatrick, we could go DJ cam young. I don't think we have DJ cam young together yet. Um, which I'm going to do now. And that's a pretty, I mean, that is a bangers group. DJ Victor, D, uh, Kepka and Cam Young would not really want to get into a bar fight with those guys or a driving contest. Those are some some dudes. All right, now we're going to start reaching. So when we get to 30 and 31, we're going to have to go to basically 40 and 41, which would be English Fowler, Nick Taylor, or Adam Scott zone. Denny for, is this for part? God, he makes everything, doesn't he? That was for birdie. Denny is three better than Hideki and still playing. And he's still multiple shots behind Akshay. It's a tough game, guys. Tough game. Even when you have your best stuff. Yeah, I or I was just gonna grab somebody who like might not even be ranked, right? I don't know. It's kind of weird. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Nick Taylor is in everything, I believe, because he's uh, yeah, he's in the Open, he's in the Masters, and you know, like if it were to end right now, he'd be in the PGA Championship and he'd be in the U.S. Open. So yeah, Nick Taylor's in everything. Nick Taylor's great. Nor in. Not well. I did not. The season long stuff did not go great for me. I think that there's just, you know, 
the schedule is so important. And I don't, I think I, I, well, I know I, where I really screwed it up. Um, was it the cognizant? No, there was, there was an event where I don't think I had anybody playing, which is just like a death sentence. And that's why I was a lot more interested in the major championship one. At least we kind of know the players who are going to be there. And it's not as crazy trying to figure out the, the scheduling. All right, so we've got to go like 40 and 41. So we could take English Nick Taylor. That would That's probably my favorite run there. Okay, Connors just went. So we're going to go English, Nick Taylor. Yeah, Nick Taylor's in everything. Nick Taylor's been great. Nick Taylor, let's look up his stat profile. Oh, look at those ball striking numbers. My God. What's his major championship record? Yikes. He's missed four straight cuts at majors, five of his last six. He has not played remotely close to what uh, he has this year, though. Horrible major championship record. Horrible. Looks like a different guy. So thir uh, what's our next picks? 42 and 43. So we'll go like 52, 53 ish. So we'll be here. So we'll be in the <laughs> Phil Taylor Moore range. I mean, uh, Moore, Ekrot, Akshay would be, would be fine by me. Maybe even just Ekrot because we know he's at least in the Masters. And likely in everything else, for the most part, Akshay is Akshay really going to just win this wire to wire? Is Denny going to track him down? Is he going to come back to earth? He's been playing so well. Akshay's holding it together. D Denny is standing over this ball for a very long time on the tee. That's a very long time. Oh my god! Did he pipe it? He did. That felt that looks very uncomfortable. Right down the middle. Great shot, but that was yikes. Oh, uh, sorry. The the star was just for my references. Um it was basically saying, like, are you in are you likely to play like three or four majors? Right. So I was kind of just adding these. I just wanted a quick way to see who the star guys were instead of looking over and saying one, two, I gave this a half. I gave this a half. So that's three. So basically just saying like, you're going to play like you're very, you're likely to play either three or four majors is, is what that says. Sorry. I, I should have mentioned that. And I was just, it was just something so I could scan it easily and, and, and see, uh, the full star would be you're you're likely to play four. The half stars you're likely to play three. So I think we'll I think we'll get Taylor. The 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 liberating part about this is you're gonna basically get whoever you want because you're reaching every single time. So I, I like that we're gonna get Taylor Moore, unless AJW is also reaching. Why are they showing Glover? Ooh, nice shot. All right, there goes Poston. We will take Taylor Moore. Oh, and we're up again. And Ekro. And then in our nine and ten spots, we have to kind of just take two guys that are, you know, at the bottom of the board here. So I at least want guys that are going to play. Can I at least get guys that are going to play in the Masters? So Luke List has a 59.5 uh, ADP. He's going to play the Masters. Rio Hisatsune. Is gonna play the Masters. Where do you go? Moronk's not in anything though. Oh, he's in the Masters, but he doesn't have a path to anything else unless he wins the Masters, right? It's all Moronk's in, isn't he? I like Moronk's game a lot. It's not. He doesn't have a path. Maybe the open. 
Yeah. I mean, I'll put his name on the list. I don't know. If he finishes second in the Masters and helps you advance, uh, it's probably worth it, even if he doesn't play the other three. Here's the undrafted guys. Who's at the very bottom of the list? I know they're just alphabetical at this point, but my God, there are some names on here. Am I on this list? That's how deep this, that's how deep this goes. Like I might be on this list. Yikes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Race to Dubai. Top 30 from Race to Dubai from 2023 getting to the Open. Wow. Seb, where were you like two hours ago or like two months ago when I needed you? That's awesome. Very helpful. Thank you. Okay, we'll go Moronk. Who else? Who else? Uh, I guess the other one, is it Hoygaard? We'll take Moronk here. We'll take probably Moronk and list. Yeah. Okay. We'll take them both if they're there. Oh, no, uh, Hoygaard just went. I thought it might be Hoygaard. Sick. Appreciate that. That's helpful. Now I feel like we're stealing on information. That was, that's good. Reed. Okay, so we'll take uh, we'll take Luke List and Moronk. Boom. All right. Fun stuff. I I'm shocked at how fast that just went. We just did two hours worth of drafts. I can't believe how fast it went. I can't believe how fast they're playing. I've got to go start getting ready for first cut and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a pin in this and bid you guys to do. It's much appreciated. A lot of fun. Nice casual little draft session again. The link's in the description. Go sign up. Rick is the promo code. If you've gotten this far, you know that already. Um, and I'll have the newsletter out and everything. And yeah, much appreciated, guys. Have a have a great day. I'm gonna shut us down.